This is Go Math Lesson 2.5 for third grade, and today we're going to make bar graphs. So uh, the very top it says Ben asked some friends to name their favorite breakfast food. He recorded their choices in the frequency table at the right, which we see over here. Different types of breakfast foods and the numbers of votes. And number one, it says complete the bar graph by using Ben's data. So we see here he had eight waffles, or eight people voted for waffles, as we see here. And cereal, we see that looks about to be uh, 13 or 14. So we're going to go over here and look. Cereal, 14. And then the other two are blank. So we're going to look at pancakes, and it says 12. Um, one thing to notice on this uh, bar graph is that it goes by fours here. And so we need to use, uh, make go up to 12 for pancakes. So I like to start where the number is and then go down and just draw a bar. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be fully shaded in just enough so we know what we're looking at. All right. And the next one we have is oatmeal and oatmeal had four. So that's all we're going to do there with that. Um, now, if you look over some of these questions, I'll look at number two. Um, which food did the most people choose as their favorite breakfast food? And you can simply just look at the bars without even looking at the numbers, and you know it's cereal. Also, we could look at our frequency table over here and see that 14, uh, cereal had 14 votes. So we're going to write cereal. Alright. I'm going to just draw it back and look over here. Um, um, I'm not going to write out the full answer because I had a little bit of trouble writing and holding my, cam my phone, camera phone um, on the last homework page. So um, let's just, uh, I'll just discuss number five here. Suppose six people chose oatmeal as their favorite breakfast food. How would you change the bar graph? All right, so saying the six people would choose um, oatmeal as the breakfast food. Let's look how many people chose it now. So it looks like we have four here, um, and it says how would it how would it change? Um, would it go all the way up to here? No, because we're it said six, so it would be between uh, four and eight. So if I was writing this, um, how would I change the bar graph? Um, I would increase the bar for oatmeal between the four and the eight on the bar graph for a total number of uh, six students or people. And that is how we make bar graphs.